want to talk to our kids with love. Another example I'll give you is we have a friend who、um, the dad hates the movie Frozen. He doesn't like it. It's a movie by Disney. It's very popular. Everyone and their mother watched this movie at one time. It was the most popular movie in America. And、um, but what he did was he didn't stop his children from watching the movie Frozen. He watched it with them. And then after they watched it, or while they were watching it, he talked to them about what they were watching, what they were listening to. And so he said, "Hey, so let's talk about this song that's really popular, 'Let It Go.'" Because those of you, if you've seen the movie Frozen,、uh, I won't go into the details, but there's a song in there that's very popular called "Let It Go," and it's about literally, if you read the lyrics, it's about letting go of the rules. Right, and that the rules don't matter, and they don't apply to me. And the character in the movie, once she lets go of the rules, they show that she has a happy life, right? But when she was following the rules and she was taking care of her sister, she looked miserable. And so the dad just talked to the kids about, well, what does that mean? Let let it go. What does it look like to let go of rules? Do we have rules in our religion? Do we have rules in our home? What's the wisdom behind rules? What's the benefit of having rules? And he got them to think about it, and they had a healthy discussion. But he didn't say to them, "Haram, you can't watch this movie. Never." He watched it with them, and then taught them how to think about it. Right? We don't want to just teach our children what to think. We want to teach them how to think. And so we want our children to be to look at the world around them with the eye of discernment. Right? We want to teach them to be critical thinkers. And one thing in our community that we have really tried is to emphasize to children that every piece of art and every piece of entertainment that's out there, whether it's a painting, a book, a song, a movie, a cartoon, whatever, everything has a message that the creator of that art, the creator of that entertainment, is putting out into the world. And it is up to you to figure out what that message is. And then decide: Do I agree with this message or not? And is this message in line with what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and my parents are teaching me? So to get the kids to think about it, so that they don't become mindless consumers of entertainment, right? We have to prepare them for when they're leaving our our homes and our world, so that they know how to think when they're on their own. So you want to get your voices into your kids' heads.